Now, I can assure you, you are in for a surprise today. It is so exciting, isn't it? All these things coming together. And I'm sure we have a special treat as well, something that's going to make this afternoon and this evening even more special as well. And I'm sure many of you know, we have a special guest here today, right? Can I get a show of hands who's here to see the Premier League and football legend Jamie Redknapp? To, to play for such an amazing club as Liverpool and, and to captain Liverpool. 
I remember my first game as captain and put the armband on and all the history of the great players that have done that. Uh, a very special moment, but also to play for my country, to play for England. Uh, I made my debut against Colombia. I don't know if everyone remembers the Scorpion kick. The, when Higuita did the kick in uh, against Columbia, do you guys remember, remember it? Yeah, that, but that was my bad cross. Everyone said it was a shot, it was a bad cross, and that's why he did it. But um, yeah, I think he had too much chocolate that day. Now, Kerry, of course, aims to uh, help spread the goodness of football as well through this campaign. Share with us how you're going to help them to do that. Well, obviously, this is a brilliant campaign because it gives people uh, an opportunity to go and catch a Premier League game. Now, Obviously, people here and wouldn't watch it on TV, but there's nothing like the experience of being there. And so for this campaign to, to not just win prizes, but to, to hopefully somebody, might be even in this room, um, can go watch a Premier League game one day and take it in, get the experience, turn up. And there's nothing like going to an live event, and especially now, the, the atmosphere is so good. Get there early. So no, it's, it's Michael. I think Michael came last year. I think Michael Owen. Yes. Michael's a friend of mine, and he, he and I remember him talking about it. How much he enjoyed the experience as well. Really cool. You've been to Singapore. You've eaten in yes. Singapore. You've not been to Malaysia. You've eaten in Malaysia. Is Malaysia food better than Singapore? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, no it's been lovely, it really has. Now, last but not least, uh, Jamie, just one final one. Do you have anything to say to all your fans here today? No, well, listen, thank you so much for the warm welcome. I've been blown away, and uh, you're all so kind and so friendly and, and willing to give you advice on where to go, what to eat. So, no, thank you so much for being so kind. And I know there's so many Liverpool fans in here, and I just want you to enjoy this season. We've had to wait a long time, there's been an awful lot of pain involved. So I can see a little push out there. Uh, congratulations and enjoy it and, and, and soak up the rest of the season because, as I say, you deserve it. All right, thank you. Oh, I don't know. Can yes, you... yes, yes, it's all good. All right, first and foremost, uh, Mr. Ellis, you're one of the few people in the world that's allowed to touch the Premier League trophy. So I want to find out how heavy is it? Uh, the whole trophy is just under four stone. So it's 25 kilograms or 55 pounds. So very heavy. Um, but there isn't three pieces, so it's not too bad to carry. Can I find out what material it's made out of? Because, like you said, it is heavy. It is heavy, yeah. So the bottom of the trophy is made out of a stone called malachite. Uh, that was chosen because it looks like blades of grass, so it represents the pitch. So the green, the green at the bottom the grass, represents the pitch. Yeah. Okay. We've got solid silver in the middle, and then 24 karat gold plate over the top. So green silver, green gold, very special. Very special and very expensive. How much, very expensive. Is it, how much is it actually worth? Uh, it's officially classed as priceless just because of what it is and how many people have actually held it, drank out of it over the years and what it represents now. Of course, we're, we're looking at the list of legends that's ever held this. Vincent Company, David Beckham, so many more. So many but one thing that struck me uh, that I was a little bit curious about were the lions on the handles. Now, it reminds me of the three lions shirt yes. for England. But why is there two here? Yeah, so the idea behind the design of the trophy is you've got two lions on the trophy, each wearing a small crown, and then you've got the big crown in the middle. So the big crown in the middle is officially the captain's crown. So at the end of the season, he wears this crown and he becomes our official third lion for English football. So this is the third lion? That's his crown to wear, absolutely. Now, of course, you've brought the Premier League trophy all around the world before. Where is the furthest this trophy has travelled? How many miles has the it's trophy done a lot of miles. I don't know how many it has done, but it goes around the world a few times a year, and uh, she does have quite a nice life, definitely. Yeah, she, she visits some different places, so, yeah. Very good stuff. Thank you very much, Mr. Ellis, for sharing.